Hey, let me know if you can hear me now. That was that was not good. Wow. Hey, appreciate that, Pete, bro. I, I didn't realize I hadn't plugged my mic in. That's a bad look. So we uh we on and popping now. I got things plugged in. <laughs> oh, that's no good. Um so anyway, man, I'm about to get my draft on. P, are you playing uh are you playing fantasy this year? Nah, nah, no need to start over. It's all good. It'll just be quiet for the top part. Not that big of a deal. We'll keep it rolling. All to the good. I'll just put it I'll put a note in to start the video. I may actually change the uh I'll I'll change the headline that and let them know that the audio starts at like what is it? I've only been live three minutes, so ain't that much time lost. It's all good. I'll just say uh start the video at three minutes. <laughs> but anyway, man, uh do you play fantasy football, P and who are you uh who did you draft if you play? I'm in here. Uh, I don't have a real draft strategy, so I'm drafting number twelve, and that is uh, that is absolutely terrible. But uh, you know, we'll make do. We'll make it do what it do. Okay, might take a season off. Yeah, I like I like fantasy. So um, it just kind of keeps me. It just kind of keeps me like paying attention because obviously I'm a follow the Bears. I'm a Bear fan. That's that's uh, first and foremost. I'm gonna always be peeping game on the bears but at the end of the day if like um if i'm not if i'm not playing fantasy i'm not gonna really follow the rest of the league like that just because like i used to watch a lot of like um i used to watch a lot of uh espn but i find myself watching less and less of espn just because i fall asleep and so um so if i'm not like locked in with fantasy i don't know what's going on in the league so Doing a little draft prep. I, I do I do mock drafts. I did mock drafts uh, on ESPN. You could do a bunch of mock drafts. And those are real cool just to kind of get you in the mode of, like, how you want to draft and things like that. So we're going to see what's popping, man. We're going to see what's popping. Hopefully I get a, a decent. I got, like, the 12th and the 13th pick one after another. So I'm probably going to go two running backs off the top. I feel like... Uh, I feel like that's a, a decent idea. I don't know. We're going to see. It's a, it's a lot of guessing test work. But uh, so about 15 minutes to the draft starts, and we'll get that popping. I'm actually hit my guy up and let him know to pop into the channel to peep the, uh, to peep the draft. Although that's probably not helpful. <laughs> but that's my guy. So I want to discuss uh, draft strategy with the homie. So uh, hey, who's your team, P? Who do you, uh, who do you support? Who do you support in your uh, football endeavors? I mean, are you like a Giants fan or like a Jets fan? It's got to be one of those two knowing you. So uh, let me know. Uh, no, I don't know. That's what I was asking. So is it the Giants or is it the Jets? Cause last year, so low key, I want to go with uh, I want to go with Mahomes early. I want to go with Mahomes because I feel like he's easily, you know, thirty to forty points a game. But uh, gang green the big blue. Oh, so you support both teams? That's dope, man. Cause from what I've heard, a lot of that ain't the way to go. Like you got to pick one or the other. So that's dope to know that you uh, that you out here supporting both. That's 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 good deal. I'm actually about to hit Eddie up and tell him to pop in too, see if he can give me some uh some some picks. Cause I'm gonna need a little help. I did a little research though. Depending on the scoring of the league. I think it's a standard, I think it's a half a point PPR, so just straightforward. Oh, I dig that. Okay. I dig that. I dig that. Yeah, we. I grew up. Now nah, I'm gonna go running back. I think I'm gonna go two running backs, two or three running back. Cause running backs are hard to come by, man. Good running backs are hard to come by. So I think I'm gonna go uh, two or three of those. But we'll see. <laughs> My guy said, "Go ahead." 
Hey, hey, C, C Row, if you get in the joint, let me know, man. I don't care about telling you my picks, man. It don't bother me. I'm going to win either way it goes. I'm confident, bro. I'm confident in what I do, sir. There's no problems. <laughs> I'm confident, bro. Confident in what I do. Hey, I got the 12th pick in. I got the 12th and the 13th pick, so I get to get, like, I could probably get a, a, a okay running back and a really good receiver um, is what I'll probably end up doing. I don't really know, though. I haven't really figured it out. Are you still a Colts fan after what happened to your boy Andrew Luck? How you feeling about that, man? And why did they boo him? That was so trash to boo him like that. He gave him 53 wins. Pick two kickers? Yeah, that'd be hot. That'd be the way to go. Let's see. You got you got pick 11. Oh, that's right. I remember you texted me about that. You st So you still rocking with the Colts or you going to change it up, bro? Cause you know they're gonna be like, probably, probably like six and ten this year. Although people are excited about Jacoby Brissett, but I, I don't, I don't buy that. I don't think he's gonna be any good. Hey, shouts out to you again, people, for telling me about the mic. I ain't have my mic plugged in, man. I was wilding. I was too focused on the picks. Happy, happy uh, Labor Day weekend to you folks. Hope. Uh, Hope everybody's enjoying their time. I'm excited to not have to wake up at the butt crack of dawn tomorrow. That's going to be exciting. Very hype about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any barbecue? What's up with the barbecue joint, man? I need to go find me a barbecue to, to stop by. Yeah, he was getting he was getting his butt kicked. It was bad. It was bad. He had a lacerated kidney. Who gets a lacerated kidney, in the, even in the NFL? Even in the NFL, who gets a lacerated kidney? I feel like those types of things shouldn't happen normally. I don't feel like that's like something that should happen on a regular basis. You get a lacerated kidney. That's, that's depressing. I feel bad for my dude. But I didn't feel that bad. Because that's what happens when you play a sport like that. Crazy. Shouts to everybody in the joint right now, man. I ain't gonna lie. I've had a little bit to drink. It's it's a, it's, a, it's a day off. I don't have to go to work tomorrow, so the enjoyment is happening. Hey, so uh, I'm picking. I'm picking. Uh, hey, shouts for joining in, Big Layla. Appreciate you, dog. Yeah, hey, so I'm uh I'm drafting. I got 12 and 13. Let me put my. I'll put it back up there so you can take a look real brief, and. Uh, so I don't know. So I think like I don't know. I'm probably gonna go running back heavy. I'm probably gonna grab two running backs because I feel like in the past every other every other uh, season I played, I've had trouble with running backs. I always had good receivers. I always had a good quarterback. But the running back in the tight end position, I always had a lot of a lot of problems with. So um, we're gonna see. Oh, I didn't tell you, uh, C. Row, one of my guys out here. His name is uh, Durante. Uh, he's also playing in his league. So I'm gonna tell him to hop in here too, and uh, maybe he'll give some of his secrets away too. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's gonna have to be receivers off top, and I'm thinking that I think Baltimore is gonna fling the ball around this year. I like that they got Mark Ingram, and I feel like I feel like him, and I feel like Lamar can run, Lamar can throw. Second year in the league, he's got some experience. I think he might actually not be a bad pick. Not sure I'm actually gonna pick him, but I, I just feel like that could be a uh, that could be a good look. And I think uh, I'm thinking about it for a running back because I'm gonna have a 12th pick. I may just wait and go receiver, and then I could get like Sony Michelle from uh, from New England because I feel like he's gonna score a lot of uh, touchdowns this year. I could be completely wrong about that, but I do feel like he's gonna have uh, a big year because. They don't have, uh, they got Josh Gordon, but they don't have Gronk anymore. So, so that easy dump off type stuff for like seven to eight yards ain't gonna happen no more. I mean, I, I shouldn't say dump off, but the the quick throws to Gronk aren't gonna be, uh, aren't gonna be as available. Yeah, I know, man. I but it's only a half point PPR though. It's not like you're getting a full point. And I don't know, man. Every time I go, every time I go past heavy, I have bet I don't win. So. 
for those in the thread in the chat right now that don't know, my homie uh, C Road, Chris Rhodes, has won. He won the league that we had uh, three years in a row, and um, it was actually very disturbing because I thought a couple years I had an opportunity, but it it didn't present itself. It didn't work out that way. So um, I need to win this year, and the stakes are a little lower this year. It's only twenty five dollar buy in, so I think the payout's like. 400 bucks or something or 300 bucks. It's not like nothing is super intensive, but, uh, you know, it's still some money to be made. That's some gas money for a couple weeks, you know. I need gas money. It's hot out here. Uh, Big Laylaw understands. No, nah, no, nah, half point. All good, bro. I know you're doing stuff. I appreciate you tapping in. Yeah, it's a half point, though. Half point. Half point joint. So it starts in about seven minutes. Hey, so uh, C Row, who you picking first, dog? G give away the secrets. We all family here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna hit the homie up on Reddit. I'm gonna tell him to tap in too. The dude that put the league together. I'm gonna tell him, yo, I'm, I'm live streaming. Come check it out. I'm probably destroying my chances of uh of being successful in the league this year, but whatever. It's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. I can't even find, I gotta change uh, screen names. <laughs> it's half point I, I've been picking at the back a lot lately, been grabbing wide receiver. See, man, I've done that every year and it hasn't turned out well for me, man. And, um,. And I don't know. I, I, I want to win this year. Every time, like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, uh, I feel like I shouldn't do that this year. I feel like I should go different. But now that I've said that, it's probably going to turn out poorly for me. And at half point, if you get somebody that gets a lot of receptions, like if you get somebody that has like a 12, yard, a 12 reception game, that, that, that's six full points. So that does give you some pause. But uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, no, I feel you. It's gonna be. It's gonna depend on who's still on the board. I, I, I told dude, uh, the dude to set the league up. So, uh, I found a guy on Reddit because I wanted to play in the league, and he he hooked it up. Uh, and I, he was like, "Yeah, I, I set the draft thing, and I responded to him like, yeah, man, I got the twelfth pick. Like, what's up with that?'" He's like, "That's not the worst pick. You get you get like double picks." I'm like, "Nah, man, that's trash. It's hot trash. I'm not a fan of it at all." I'm gonna tell him to come jump in this thread though and see if uh see if he'll give away some of his secrets. Yeah, what did you win last year, C Row? You won like what? Four hundred bucks or something last year? Cause we had a fifty dollar buy in. So so what did you you won you won like a, a hefty sum of change last year. I was cause I was the commissioner last year and I was a god awful commissioner. That is never something I need to do again. Uh, look at all these people joining the left. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my live stream in the draft chat to see if anybody pops in. Uh, but yeah, I hated being a commissioner, man. That's a garbage situation. I don't like that at all. Wasn't okay with it. Shit was frustrating. I don't believe in Delvin, man. I don't believe in Minnesota like that. Oh, th thanks, thanks for that, bro. Thanks, for, th thanks for making that known. Thanks for making that known. Um, I think Juju's gonna be good. I don't know about Julio, man. Shut up, shut up about that. I don't appreciate you disrespecting my commissioner skills, even though we all know they were trash. Um. But what I was going to say was, uh, yeah, I, I think Juju's going to be dope. I don't know about Julio, man. Julio, of course, has the resume, but I feel like he just doesn't score touchdowns. That the, the most frustrating thing in the world was having him and he didn't score. I felt like an idiot. It, it was not good. Shit actually really pissed me off. Now that, now that I'm thinking back on it, it really irritated the hell out of me. But... Uh, it is what it is. All right, we got three minutes left. There's some, there's some weird names in here. Pimpmobile, Blackcocks, Stormy Montana, Blunted. Some of these teams are, are quite weird. 
two minutes and twenty five seconds. And I really want I really want to land Mahomes, so so don't do that, bruh. Don't 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 do me dirty like that. But I can't. I don't really want to get him. Man, I don't. Man, Matt Ryan. I don't trust Matt Ryan either. He's so streaky to me. He'll have like three good games and then three bad games, and it just. He's kind of consistent at like eighteen to twenty points, but I want to I want a QB that can like win games for me, on the field and in fantasy. I need I need a guy that can be, that can be legitimate. So so we'll see. So we'll see. I don't know. Oh snap! Oh snap! Did you, a hey, uh, Big Layla, did you take one of, um, did you take, uh, Matt Ryan in one of your leagues? Because you got, like, three, three, four leagues going. All right, let's see what happens. Two minutes, two minutes and counting. I think I'm gonna win the league this year, though. See, Ro, I think uh, I think I'm gonna get that money this year, bro. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones, son. It's all about the belief. You believe you can't achieve. Yeah, I'm thinking about grabbing Lamar myself. I've been thinking about grabbing Lamar myself. And the thing about the thing about like a Lamar or a Matt Ryan is like if you get them late round, that is pretty good value. Oh, so the draft is popping. I'm gonna turn the sounds on. Let's get into it. Oh, I already had the sounds on, my bad. Doo 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 doo. Oh yeah. It's time. I'm excited. <laughs> Why you gotta be a jerk, man? Thinking the impossible is impossible. <laughs> it's not nice, man. It's not nice. That's all right, though. When I win this door, I'm gonna talk. Hey, if I win this money too, I'm getting me a ring, bro. You should have got you a ring when you won. I'm gonna give me a ring or a belt or something. All right, so who's off the board? Saquon? I could have seen that happening. Saquon Barkley's off the board. Not shocked by that. Look at folks running through their picks. Zeke's off the board. So Zeke was the first pick? I don't know about that. Kamara's off the board. Everybody's going running back heavy. All the running backs about to come off the board. So we got uh, Saquon's off the board. Kamara's off the board. McCaffrey's off the board. All right, bro. I'll see you in a second. No, it's a half. Oh, no, it's half point. Somebody needs I think it's a half point. If it's a full PPR, if it's a full point, that's a problem. DeAndre's off the board. It's, I think it's a half point PPR. I need clarification on that, too. I'm pretty sure it's the half point. Oh, so I know your strategy. You just tipped your hand, bro. You just tipped your hand. Uh, let me see. Uh, come on, man. Yeah, man, the wide receivers are dangerous. Because the wide receivers, like... If uh, they have a bad game, you're screwed. At least a running back, if you get a starter running back, you don't get the rock a bunch of times. So. I don't actually know how to do this on the computer. Probably should have figured that out ahead of time. That's a problem. Michael Thomas is off the board. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Looking at pick number seven now. All right. People taking their time. I like that. I did several mock drafts, sir. Actually, I did like three. I'm not going to act like I did a ton of them, but I did three of them. A lot of people going receiver heavy. A lot of people going receiver heavy. 
So that makes me. So, hey, did you check and see? I thought it was a half point PPR. Maybe it's a full point. I don't know. And, and dude didn't hit me back on the joint. On the Reddit. So now we're looking at number eight. Stony Montana is on, is on the board with his pick. Now, now you get now you got me thinking. Oh, okay, it's a half point. Okay, I'm gonna say now you got me thinking about getting a receiver. I don't think I'm. It's a lot of good receivers out there though. Let's see. Let's see. They taking their time. Let's go, Stony Montana. You taking all day, bro? Hmm. Juju's still out there. Juju's gonna be a big play guy. That's got me thinking. But it's so hard to come across good running backs, man. Although part of me says, too, like running backs get hurt all the time as well. Which, is this dude is taking all. I wonder if he's not there. He's taking all day. Come on, bruh. Let's go. My team name is Chicago Bear Grills. I thought that was intelligent. It's better than killer season. I like to be creative. David Johnson. I wouldn't have taken David Johnson. I think that's a trash pick. I think David Johnson is a trash pick. Wouldn't have done that. And I don't even know about Le'Veon Bell is a good pick. I don't see that happening either, but we'll see. Uh, I had to, I had to go I had to go back up. I'll check real quick. Uh. <laughs> oh, that person wasn't in the draft room. Well, they stupid. They should have been in the draft room. Uh, let me tell. You, hold on, I'll tell you in a second who went first. P. I think it was uh, it was Ezekiel Elliott, which I think wasn't the the greatest first pick, but. It's fine by me. Live your life. I wonder why that person wasn't in the draft. I think it's another person not in the draft right now. Uh, well, these people ain't going to have good seasons. Wow. Strong language. Strong language, sir. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if I wonder if Antonio Brown is gonna be good. What do people think about Antonio Brown? I I, I don't I don't know about that. And I mean he does have a uh, he does have a, a quarterback that can really. Uh, okay, let's see what you're doing, Mr. Rhodes. What's the move, son? Ooh, a lot of, a lot of backs off the board. That's not good. What's the move, son? Oh yeah, all right, that's cool. Let's do this. Then let's do. So I went ahead and grabbed. Uh... Actually, I'll tell you who I grabbed in a second. I gotta stay focused to see where I'm gonna do my next move. So I got James Conner off the board off top. Mm -hmm. All right. So I had two picks back to back. I went with James Conner from a running back, and I went with Juju Smith Schuster because I think the boy Juju's gonna have a big season. I believe in that. I stand on it. I'll have a pick for a minute, man, which is kind of trash. So my homie who's in the room right now, Mr. Chris Rhodes Wilson, went ahead and took. Who'd you take, dude? Um, Julio? Is that who you took? No, you didn't take Julio. Who'd you take? I need to go back back and see what happened. Uh, you took uh, Tyreek. Tyreek wasn't a bad look. Oh, shout outs to D. What's happening with you, homie? I'm doing my, I'm live streaming my draft. I'm, I'm drafting right now for my fantasy football squad. So I went 12th and I had two picks and I took uh, James Conner and uh, uh, Juju Smith-Schuster out of Pittsburgh because I feel like James Conner is going to run the ball a lot. They got a dynamic offense. Ben Roethlisberger can still get the ball up the field. Juju is dope. He's going to, obviously he's going to have a top spot now. I think he's going to do well. So, that, that's how I started off. Now, the bad part about that is they have buys in the same week. So, I did not consider that before I made that move. Yeah, man. Yeah, do that. Do that. I mean, I'm not sure if you want to take notes off of what I'm doing. But, 
But I went with, like, so the way I like to draft, and I'm giving away a little bit of my draft strategy, but I don't mind doing that. The way I like to draft is I like taking players off the best teams. I don't like... I don't like trust teams like the Detroit Lions or like the Arizona Cardinals that have uh, new quarterbacks and like kind of whack offenses because it's not going to generate a lot of points. I want teams to generate a lot of points. So that's one of the reasons I, I went with those two guys off of the uh, the Steelers. And I think there's going to be a lot of a lot of value there. Uh, James Conner had a great season. I mean, Pittsburgh usually has pretty good blocking and pretty good running. They, they, they generally never have a problem with that. Um, and then you got Big Ben, who does a lot of uh, play action stuff. He does a lot of stuff in the flats, a lot of screens. So I think there's just a lot of touches on the ball right there. Now, I may be wrong about that, but uh, that's just how I see things. So we just had Odell Beckham come off the board, Joe Mixon come off the board, Nick Chubb is off the board. So I got a, I got a third and fourth pick coming up, and I got a wide receiver, and I got a running back. So I may repeat that pattern. I'm not 100%. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's a dust storm in the area. It's getting crazy out here. Now, also, now, now here's the thing. I also really, really want uh, my man's Patrick Mahomes, who's still on the board. So I could, I could go quarterback right now. Now, there's a lot of value in the back half of the quarterback joint. We talked about that earlier with, with guys like Matt Ryan and dudes that can give you, like, 20 points a game. But... My thing is, like, I want a quarterback I know that's going to be putting up numbers. That's, that's big to me. Oh, never mind. Mahomes is off the board. God damn it. Well, I guess that's not going to happen. Thielen's off the board, too. I kind of want to kind of have my eye on Thielen as well. So I'm not happy right now. Things that have happened aren't, uh, aren't working into my plans, but that's all right. Got to be flexible. Some good receivers still on the board, though. Edelman's out there. Mike Evans is out there. Keenan Allen is out there. Um, some good receivers still on the board. Who just came off? Mike Evans just came off the board. Hey, shouts out to Kaloy and Thonio. Shouts to being here, man. I'm doing my uh, my draft right now. I don't know if you're from the draft room. I'll put the link in there, too. Uh, shouts out to Kaloy. Hey, Kaloy, man, anybody new in the building, go ahead, subscribe to the page. Hit the like button, please. That helps me uh, out tremendously when you do that. So everybody in the room, do that for me right now. So, um, just doing my draft, uh, Kaloy, I don't know if you're in our league or you just happen to stumble upon here, either way, shouts to you, um, so far, oh, you're from the Philippines, hey, shout to the, what time is it in the Philippines, man, it's gotta be like crazy hours, hey, appreciate that, Alexander, man, much love, hey, go ahead and, and also, uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, doing my draft right now, and, um, my picks, I had 12 and 13. I'm at the back half, so I'm always have two picks back to back, which may turn out to be very helpful. I don't know yet. But so far, I took uh, Juju Smith Schuster, and I went ahead and took James Conner, both off of the 8 10 in the morning. Well, good morning to you, my dude. Appreciate you stopping through. Do y'all uh, do y'all watch a lot of uh, football out there? I, I don't know. Um, I don't know how football translates out there in the Philippines. I'm assuming y'all rock with it, but um, if you do watch football, who's your favorite team, my guy? Who do you uh who do you like? So I don't really love the running back situation left. And I feel like if I don't take a running back now, I could probably still have somebody decent. There's a lot of a lot of running backs that are being like kind of slept on. And I think I could probably go without grabbing one right now, but then at the same time. Oh, appreciate that. Appreciate that, big Layla. Thank you, dog. Yeah, I thought that was smart, man. I think I think James Conner's gonna have a good season. I think they both gonna have good seasons, and I think uh you know, like I said earlier, I like to go. I like to draft people from teams that score a lot of points. So I'm not gonna take too many, you know, too many people from from teams that don't score a lot. I'm pretty sure. So somebody just took a running back from Oakland, which I find interesting. I don't know if I would have done that. So it's a half point P PPR. We just got that the uh, the commissioner. Oh, I think I'm up. Oh, gotta make some moves now. Oh no, I'm not up. My bad. I'm not gonna be up for a minute. As a matter of fact. Uh, so a lot of people coming off the board. I might have scraps when I get back into it, now that I'm looking at things. But, uh, but it is what it is. We had a dust storm going on. Hey, Big Layla, is it a dust storm out there by your crib, man? Because it is a, a heavy dust storm out this way. And, um, the trees is shaking and stuff, and my patio is going crazy. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was crazy, too. I don't know about that job, Jake. Somebody must know something we don't know. I don't know about that. That, that, that was an awkward situation right there. So, uh, let me see. I got to... 
Oh, yeah, it's, it's hitting you out there, too. Yeah, it's crazy. <clears throat> I, I'm looking out the window. The park is across the street from my, my uh, office where I, where I record all this stuff, and the trees, like, they about to come over. They about to fall over. So I'm a little bit worried about this league, though, because it's a lot of dudes that aren't actually in here in the draft, and I'm really hoping that, and they don't have names. Like, they got Team Tino and stuff like that. Oh, you were just walking the dogs? <laughs> yeah, you lucky you made it back in the house, bro. Hey, uh, P, what kind of dog do you have, bro? Like I said, everybody just joining us, just popping back in. Go ahead and hit that like button, man. That does me a solid favor. So let's just see who came off the board here. So Devonta Freeman, uh, Leonard Fournette off the board, uh, Keenan Allen off the board, Josh Jacobs. Like I said, that was a crazy pick, but somebody knows something we don't. I got two rounds. I got two picks coming up back to back. Corgi Hound. Okay. Corgis are like... Cute dogs. I don't like saying the word cute that often, but corgis are actually pretty uh, pretty cute dogs. All right, so let me see here. The back situation is looking troublesome right now. Although there's still some folks out there that can make some noise. So I'm a little... I think I got to go with another back right now because the, the running back situation is looking very problematic. Um, and the receiver situation still looks pretty good. So I'm going to probably go do another one of each. And then I'm going to probably go ahead and grab me a QB. Shouts to everybody in the room popping in and out, man. Appreciate y'all. Uh, so I don't know, man. It, it, does anybody know? Is Melvin Gordon hurt? Because he has something by his name. Can I click that? What does that tell me? There's no news. That tells me nothing. Why is that there? All right. Well... Ooh, I could go two running backs right now. I kind of feel like running backs are the way to go. I know it's a PPR league at half point. I get all that, but ooh, I don't I don't know what to do at this point, man. I also know I'm gonna need a tight end soon. Because tight ends are, are very good secret weapons to have. Oh, he's holding out. Good looks on that. Good looks on that, Alexander. Gordon's not hurt, he's holding out. Gotcha. Hey, shouts whatever's clever. Take the risk. I appreciate that. Wifey's in the building. Thank you for being here. Love you very much. All right, so um, so now we got somebody with an auto pick. That's whack. Team Green got an auto pick. So I'm worried about this league a little bit. So I joined this. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't have time for that, dog. I don't have time for the inside info. I'm lucky to get what I get. So I joined this league from Reddit. Me and my homie, uh, my homie C-Ro, and another homie of mine out here in Arizona. His name's Durante. He goes by Lost Flyer. He makes dope music. Um, he... I got them in the league as well, but I don't. I hate when leagues don't have people that really commit to the league and they and they kind of BS. That bothers me, you know. But it is what it is. And see, I'm thinking if if he's out there, I'm gonna go ahead and take Melvin Gordon because I I do think that he's gonna have a good season because he's been progressing. The the uh, Chargers haven't been bad. They haven't been really good, but he's gotten he's had pretty good seasons. He hasn't been too injury prone. Now I say that he might he might hurt himself. I'm also looking at David Montgomery. I don't know a lot about the dude, but I do know I think Chicago's going to have a pretty good offense, obviously. Um, and then I'm looking at Melvin, Mark Ingram as well. I'm looking at Mark Ingram because I think that the uh, Baltimore offense is going to really open it up. Okay, so I'm so my homie uh, my homie C. Rose on the board making his decisions. Rather take Ingram. We're going to see, man. Don't try to play me. You're probably telling me stuff just to tell me stuff, man. Don't play me right now. I know how you work, man. You like a, you like a chess player. <laughs> So who'd you just take? I'm gonna scroll now. I got time. I got time between my picks. Who'd you just take? Okay, so you took you took the uh, Chicago pick. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I think who do I think is gonna have the best season out of these guys? So what I'm gonna do? Don't take. I ain't taking Shady. No, no, no. He got cut. He got cut for a reason too. They knew something. Oh, this this is this is. I like Mark Ingram a lot as a back man. I like him a lot. Ooh. And I don't have no picks coming up for a minute after this. I get two picks, and then I ain't got nothing for a second. Uh, oh, no, actually, I don't have two picks in a row. Okay. Uh, let's see, trades. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's do this. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm, I'm at a loss for what to do right now. I'm at a loss for what to do. Diggs is thought that too. Mm. <laughs> man, oh man. I want 
Atlanta and took Mark Ingram. I'm not sure if it's the right pick. But my thing is, I've had Mark Ingram a couple times in the league. I've been watching him a while. He's always been good. He's durable. He's never really hurt. Obviously, he played alongside Kamara, which was probably a big help. Um, so we'll see. I'm on the clock with my next pick. Whew, it's getting hot in here, man. Um, let's see where the value is at a receiver. So my thing is, I'm thinking Diggs. I think Diggs is going to be good. Diggs is really nice, but... Brandon Cooks has that big, big play potential. I like to get tight ends early, too. I may I may cop out and get a tight end, to be honest with you. Zach Ertz has been fantastic, but I just don't know what to make of him this year. And there's some, still some pretty good tight ends there. It's probably too early for that. Let's go back to the receivers. I don't know how much I trust the Rams' offense. I mean, obviously they made the Super Bowl last year, so he might get open a little bit more. I just don't feel like he was that great last year. Hmm. Well, I'm going for explosiveness, so I went ahead and went with the homie Brandon Cooks. I just feel like there's more opportunity there. Stephon Diggs is going to have some of his uh, passes cannibalized. Obviously, they got Robert Woods out there in uh, in L.A. Uh, I think their receiving core, I think they got Marquise Lee. Their receiving core, I don't think, is, is bad, but... Um, I just feel like I just feel like I'm set up to score. Some, my thing is I like to score big points. I want people who are gonna put points on the board, big amounts of points. And I feel like I feel like I did okay in that respect. So I like my team so far. So if you're just joining us, hit the like button, please. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the page already, subscribe to the page, man. The content is incredible. So my team so far: James Conner, Mark Ingram, Juju Smith Schuster, and Brandon Cooks. I feel like I've got a pretty good solid core so far. Um, we'll see what happens. Shouts to everybody in the chat right now, man. Like I said, if you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button. Got uh, the draft going on right now. I, I like my picks. I feel confident. I think the next move is probably going to be in a quarterback in the tight end space. So I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start paying attention to what's going on over there. Let's see. My next pick don't come for a minute. I don't think so. I got a little time to a little time to chill. Let's see who's come off the board. So somebody went ahead and took Zach. So tight ends are coming off the board right now. Kiddos come off the board. Earth has come off the board. Um. Okay, Melvin goes. So 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 bro took. So did you try to play me, C. Bro? I think you told me don't take Gordon. Was that what you said? Somebody said that. But you took him. I think Melvin Gordon's got a good year. I I just went with uh Mark Ingram because I feel like I feel like they're gonna probably run a lot of passes to the back. Over there in uh, Baltimore. And shouts to the homie uh, Big Laidlaw. He, he's a huge Baltimore fan. I think they're going to have a pretty good season. Man. I don't know about their defense. Obviously, uh, Suggs is gone, which he was getting old anyway. But, uh, okay, so, D so Diggs is off the board. Mark Andrews late. Okay, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't have the insider info, I'll be honest with you. You say keep grabbing at wide receiver and running back depth? Okay. No, that's, that's a fact. The defense is always great, but, like, you know, sometimes things slip a little bit. So let me see. Now, see, here's the interesting here's the interesting situations. There is Deshaun Watson on the board. I had Deshaun Watson a couple years back, and he was fantastic. With Andrew Luck out of the South, I think they're going to put up a lot of points. So, honestly, I feel like that might be the move to make. I know people usually go a little bit later with their uh, QB picks, but I like to get the cream of the crop. And I feel like if I don't do it in the next two picks, Ravens tight end. All right, all right. That's a good. That's a good look. That's a good idea. I appreciate that. Not sure I'm gonna follow it, but I. I but I appreciate the heads up. Uh, I'm also thinking about OJ Howard for tight end. I've I've seen him do some good things, and um, you know we'll see. But that but that's a good point though. I mean I think Lamar is gonna spread the ball around. So this dude you're talking about might have. Might have uh, a, a good season because I think he's going to air it out. I think they're going to trust him to throw this year. There's some good receivers still up there, too. And see, the thing is, I like T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton's still on the board, but he's going to have Jacoby throwing to him. Jacoby's not bad, but Jacoby. Hey, what's up? My homie's in here, Lost Flyer. He is also in the league. Are you. Hey, what's your team name, dog? Because uh, I don't know what it is, and I'm curious. Uh, hopefully, you're doing your draft right now because if you're not, um, that's going to be problematic. But, uh, so back to what I was saying, I kind of want to grab Deshaun Watson right now. Not sure if that's a good look, but I kind of want to, but I think I need to be patient. Chris Godwin, I heard Chris Godwin might have a good season too. 
Um, tough decisions to make, man. Tough decisions to make. I like my squad so far. I'm very, I'm very, uh, very happy about the people I have. I feel like I did a good job so far. And I got, I got, I got two backs and two receivers. I know I can go another round. I can go another round and wait on a QB. I know I can do that. But then I'm going to be looking at probably second-tier QBs. I like to have a strong QB. I feel like when you have a strong QB, they can make up for a lot of flaws if you have a flawed team. Or if you have somebody go down, if you have a strong, if you have a strong uh, QB, you can get a lot of points. Um, so I'm going to have two picks coming up. I'm looking at the situation. I, I, I want to get some backs from, uh, from New England. Cause I feel like the New England backs again. I don't. I don't feel like Brady's gonna throw it as much this season. He lost his safety net, and Gronk, Gordon will be there. But I think that's still gonna take a little bit of time for Gordon to really get going. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so, so Sony Michelle's off the board. I I kind of wanted to grab him. So I guess that that'll that'll change up what I'm thinking. Um. No, you're not feeling the, the New England running backs. Give me some. Give me some feedback on why. Tell me why, because I I, I can use all the help I can get right now. So uh, tell me why you say stay away from uh, from them. Uh, let me see. You're a dick. No, that's cool. Do your thing, man. That's fine. I'm looking at value. There's still some really really high value quarterbacks out there. I think I got to take one in this next round. Low key, I kind of want to grab Baker Mayfield, but he's just so unproven. But he's gonna have a ton of talent out there. Jarvis Landry, and o Odell, and and uh, Kareem Hunt is the backup out there. No, nah, that's a good point. That's a good point. The running back by committee thing is true, and you can really screw yourself. I have had that happen too, where you like you get a couple of them, uh, you get a couple of them backs in New England, and then one of them gets two touchdowns, the other one touches the ball one time. So uh, that's actually a really good point. Okay, so you talking about college for Sony Michelle? Because I, I don't know about uh, I don't know about the injury proneness uh, that he has, dude. Okay, so they do have a committee. That's a good looks on the uh, that's good looks on the uh, the information, man. Appreciate that. Oh, good looks on that too. I didn't realize that. Damn. Yeah, I didn't realize. Uh, hey, good looks. Good looks, big Layla. Hey, I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> I'd have had Kareem Hunt on my joint and been all messed up. That's a good look. See, that's why I wanted to do this live because I figured there was good people out there that would help me uh, make my make my team successful. Hey, hey, big shouts to you, dog. I appreciate that. I hate all this auto picking stuff, man. It takes so long. Hey, lost. If you out there, bro, what's your team name, man? If I had to guess, I, I think your team name is Pitmobile, but I don't know. I might just be reaching. Let's see who else is off the board. So now we got T.Y. Hilton's off the board. Mike Williams is off the board. A lot of receivers starting to come off the board. Cooper Cup, DJ Moore. Auto picks, easy money. That's facts. I don't know, man. I like competition. I like I like everybody to be engaged. And I bet you, C. Rowe, you probably trying to play me on the Deshaun Watson thing. I th you out here throwing out misdirections, red herrings. Like I'm not intelligent or something, bro. I know what you're doing. I mean, I ain't gonna stop me either way. I'll probably grab me the way it goes. But I don't trust you. I don't trust what you're saying. What does everybody think about Aaron Rodgers? I think, I mean, it's almost sacrilegious for me to, to draft him. But I gotta put money before uh, personal feelings. And maybe do what I gotta do out that way. Uh, let's see what good... I need, I need another good back, but... Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I see, I see you with the dot, dot, dots. I know what's going on, bro. I didn't just wake up. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Um, Jordan Howard in Philly. I didn't even realize Jordan Howard was in Philly until very recently. And I think he's going to be the starter there. And I think Philly has a pretty good team. I think they made the playoffs. But I just don't think... I never thought Jordan Howard was like a, a, a superstar back. I think he's a good back. I think if you need... If you got a third and two, he could probably get you to two yards, but... Or, like, if you're on a goal line, I think he can get a lot of goal line scores because he's, he's a big, tough runner, but I don't know. I don't know. And then Kenyon Drake it has has shown some flashes, but I don't know if I believe in him either. So, a lot of questions right now, man. A lot of questions. A lot of questions. There's some pretty good tight ends on there, too. Let's see. So, these would be... 
Who are uh, you talking about? Keon Drake don't catch passes? Who you talking about? I remember David and Joku was real good at the end of last year. Jared Cook was a beast and you know that might not be a bad tight end look right there. He was a monster in Oakland because they had nobody else to throw the ball to. And he was just gobbling. I remember at the end of the year, he was just gobbling stuff up. Do they have who do they have another tight end on the uh, New Orleans roster? I should have done more research. I'm not prepared. So Phillip Lindsay's off the board. A lot of backs still coming off the board too. Evan Ingham, Hunter Henry. I don't believe in Hunter Henry. I think that I don't I don't think that's real. Oh yeah, no, Jordan Howard doesn't. Those, those are facts. I remember watching those games. Jordan Howard doesn't have he has stone hands. Stone hand Jordan Howard. And that's a good point. You need you need somebody to catch passes. That's that's a very good point. But I like I like OJ Howard, but I don't trust Jameis Winston. I think Jameis Winston is trash. I think he's a trash can. I don't think he's very good. You know. But I but I seen OJ Howard has some time. I think he can catch the ball and run with it too, but like I just don't trust James to get it to him. He's not. I like my quarterbacks to like not stand on tables and scream things in in college. You know, I like my quarterbacks to. Uh, you got kicked out, bro. Bogus. I thought you was in here like swimwear, bro. That's terrible. Terrible. Oh damn! Somebody took man. That's messed up. I was gonna get Jerry Cook. I don't like all the the back to back thing is cool, but it's also a, a real problem when you like have people you are eyeballing. All right, so the homie C. Rose on the clock. Let's see what he does. My brother in arms, Mike Conrad. Who did he take? Oh, he really did take Deshaun Watson. He wasn't BSing. I respect that. Respect the move. Man, so what do I do? I, I, was, I was planning on that. That was my move. Maybe I shouldn't be on here telling my moves, but uh, life happens and we'll move on. Uh, I'm not pleased with any of this. Not pleased with any of this. Uh, maybe I'll just go ahead and grab him. I see Mark Andrews up there. I see him. Jack Doyle, Jack Doyle. He ain't got no way pass to him, though. All right, let me, let me think here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab OJ Howard. I feel like he's, I feel like he's good. I feel like he's got to catch some passes. Now, now the problem comes in because I don't mind. I don't mind Matt Ryan. I don't mind him, but I just don't feel like he's consistent enough. I really don't. I kind of like Ben because Ben can put up numbers. Breeze is out there. Breeze will do numbers. Hmm. <laughs> Breeze can do big numbers, but sometimes Breeze has tough games too. Rodgers can run, but I don't trust him. Damn man, I don't, Matt Ryan is safe though. He doesn't throw too many picks. Uh, kind of makes me feel gross, though. You know what? We're not doing that right now. We'll come back to that. I'm not gonna. I'm not doing. I'm gonna probably end up with a, with a crap quarterback, but I'm not doing it right now. I just don't feel it. If I don't feel it, I'm not doing it. If I don't feel that, I'm not doing it. He's so far down. I could still get. Mm, I'm in the sixth round. All right, I guess maybe another running back. Hmm. I like James White because he's very. Uh, Mm. I'm not feeling anything right now. Nothing on here seems good to me. You know what? What's my receiving team? What's my receiving core looking like? Calvin Ridley might not be bad for you there. All right. Shout out to Javier. Oh, shouts to Kevin Torres. That's the commission. The commissioner's in the building. Hey, shouts to you for popping in, bro. Appreciate that. Shouts to Javier as well. Go ahead, man. If you guys are just joining us, hit the like button at the bottom. I would greatly appreciate that. Help me grow out this page a little bit. I'm probably going to do a lot of Sunday streaming um, during the season. I'm going to get a TV set up in my office, have the uh, red zone on, have my uh, fantasy joint on, and do some streaming. Um... So I, did, I took Allen Robinson from the Bears. I think he's going to score. I think he's a great receiver. I think he was banged up a little bit last year. I also went ahead and took O.J. Howard. I think my receiving core is, is excellent. Um, the SD Pimp. This is SD Pimp Mobile. I like that SD Pimp Mobile. That's lit. Hey, Lost, holler at the commissioner if he kicked you out. He's in the building now. Uh, like I said, man, hit that like button, smash that joint. I know some of y'all ain't did that. It's eight people watching. It's only six likes, so I need y'all to reconcile that for me. 
Also, if you haven't subscribed to the page, I do music reviews. I do movie trailer reviews. Uh, we do a live stream where we review music every Friday. Um, so this page is always popping off, man. If you haven't hit that button, do that for your boy. And um, so, so, so my team right now, James Conner, Mark Ingram, Juju Smith-Schuster, Brandon Cooks, O.J. Howard, Allen Robinson. I feel like I got a squad. I could be, I could be mistaken. All it takes is one injury to change things, but I feel like the squad is there. Um, so the homie uh, C. Rowe, who is in the building, my one of my best friends of all time. He just took Vance McDonald. A.J. Green came off the. Uh, yeah, I listen to Earth Gang. Earth Gang is dope, man. Shouts to J.I.D. I don't know if I'll ever see this, but he's. He's fantastic. I didn't like him at first because I thought he was trying to be like Kendrick. But when I heard that some of his verses on uh, Revenge of the Dreamers, man, dude, dude, dude is dude is stupid. Um, although I don't know if J.I.D. is actually in Earth Gang. He's done a lot of work with them. But um, uh, Josh Howard came off the board early. <laughs> Shouts to Alex. That's what's up. Let him know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's why I didn't get him. That's why I didn't get him, Big Laylaw, because I'm like, I'm not going to have three Steelers all be on the bench at the same time during the bye week. That's that's not a good look. I do like having people on high-scoring teams, but those points are going to cannibalize each other. There's no point. So Duke Johnson is off the board. Uh, so I think I need one more back, but I have an idea of the back I want. Um, and I think he's going to be good. I think he's kind of slept on. So I'm going to have two picks. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to grab another back and I'm probably going to grab a quarterback at this point. We'll see who's left on a quarterback. Nobody's really jumped into quarterbacks yet, so um, could be a lot of opportunity there. So Devin Singletary from the Buff with the Bills is off the board. Miles Sanders off the board. Duke Johnson off the board. Austin Eckler. A lot of running back. A lot of people gra drafted their running backs late, which, you know, it may work for them. I don't know. Um... I also think Tariq Cohen could be a could be a sleeper pick. I'm thinking about grabbing him because with uh Howard gone and I think that their running back's a rookie. Cohen might have to get a lot of looks. And Cohen's a big player. He he's a big uh uh a big time, you know, if he gets the ball in his hands, he might be able to shake things up. So the the QB situation I think is about to change. So the QB situation, if you can see my screen right now, we got Matt Ryan, Aaron Rodgers. Cam Newton, Baker's out there. We got Wentz out there. Prescott. That's a lot of, a lot of QBs out there. Um, Russell Wilson's still out there. Jared Goff is still out there. Now, see, what I'm also thinking is I could probably wait on quarterback and get Jared Goff late because I don't see, I don't think a lot of people are, I think a lot of people are sleep on Jared Goff. I had him one season. He put up some, some very, very big numbers. It's leaving a little early. Tevin Coleman is off the board from San Francisco. I think San Francisco might be an interesting team. I don't know about uh, the porn star happy uh, Jimmy Jimmy G. Uh, I, I don't know what he's going to. Because my thing is, I question your judgment, man. Like, I ain't mad at you for smashing the porn star. Like, there's no issue on that. But, like, you got to know how to set that up so nobody knows about it. Like, um, David Montgomery and Mike Davis do not bode well for Tariq. Tariq's already proven, though. Tariq's already proven. So, in my opinion, why wouldn't they give him a look? Use the draft. I know you also took Josh Allen, so... I, I got questions on that, bro. <laughs> but you've been doing this longer than I am, so I'm not going. I'm not going to question you. I, I won't question your uh, decision making skills. You've been playing fantasy a lot longer than me. Um, I like to have a a, a I like to have two strong quarterbacks. And if you draft too late, because you got Josh Allen and Lamar, I think Lamar will be fine. I don't trust Josh Allen. No, nah, I'm not down you, bro. I just don't trust Josh Allen. I think Buffalo uh, uh, is going to be a, a, a terrible squad this year. Uh, I don't trust them at all. Cause mainly because they have nobody to throw the ball to. Josh Allen's gonna be throwing it to himself. He's gonna be throwing twenty yard passes to himself. Like, who who's who's he gonna give the ball to? Hey, listen, Drake can do what he wants to do. Okay, Jimmy G's nobody. Drake is everybody. Everybody knows Drake. All right. J Jimmy G is a a backup superstar. Okay, he had one okay season. He won four games, and then then what? You know what I mean? So they are not in the same class. And yes. Drake is stupid. He got a we got a porn star pregnant, so that's like eight times as bad as Jimmy G. But uh, but Drake can do that. Drake is the only dude that can do that and like get away with it. Like in, in hip hop, if you knock up a porn star, usually you never you never recover from that. That's like I mean you talk about dissing people. That's a whole diss song in and of itself. And uh, he's still he's still on top. So I'm surprised no quarterbacks are really coming out here. We got Robbie Anderson and Joe who came off the board. Sammy Watkins is off the board. Um. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not super uh, impressed. 
Oh, okay, so 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 C Road think he has some low key inside. He probably do have some insider information. I ain't gonna doubt him. He won our league three years in a row, and uh, two of those years we had twelve teams. So I, I ain't gonna act like the dude don't know what he's doing. Uh, who's he throwing to though? Let me know so I can scoop him before you uh, get the chance to. Donald Trump. Um, you know Donald Trump. He's a big body runner. Four weeks as the QB one first last season. You talk? Are we talking about Jimmy G still? I don't trust Jimmy G, man. Jimmy G, Jimmy G is Matt Castle, man. Jimmy G is Matt Castle. A little flash in the pan, and you'll never hear from him again. He's probably gonna hurt the season by game five, and you'll never hear from him again. He'll be out the league. I don't trust it. I think they shouldn't have paid him all that money. But I, but hey, what do I know? I don't know nothing. Um, Donald Trump is probably one of the biggest gangsters on the planet. By the way, not that I like him or endorse anything he does, because he's a trash human being. But he's probably one of the most gangster people on the planet. I mean, there was a rumor last, like last uh, week. That he that one of his daughters came out and said he doesn't like taking pictures with me because I'm bad for his look or something like that. So I don't know how many dudes you know that would cr cut their daughters out of what they do. That's that's pretty gangster. I wouldn't do it. I think it's despicable. But if we're talking from a straight gangster perspective, I mean, that's that's some G <laughs> that's some thug stuff to do, man. I I, I don't know. So uh, getting back into the draft, Kenyon Drake is off the board. The draft is kind of moving slow at this point. We get into later rounds. People are really kind of taking their time. So the commissioner is up, Mr. SD Pimpmobile. Let's see who he grabs. Our bro, Kevin Torres. Let's see uh, see who he takes. No, I'm, no QBs have come off the board. I'm kind of excited about this. It also partly tells me I need to chill. Be okay, so uh, Matt Ryan. So the commissioner just took Matt Ryan. I don't think that's a bad look. What's up with the pedo stash showing on Aaron Rodgers, though? Is that, like, something that's happening right now? He needs to get rid of that. Joe Flacco should have taught y'all about that pedal stash. That's not hot. That's that's not a good look. The, the pedal stash ain't it. Just go ahead and let that go. It's not That's not something that folks need to be doing. All right, so who else we got out the board? Aaron Rodgers. So now, now people are getting into the quarterback conversation. Okay, I see it. I like it. I feel like, yeah, if I don't if I don't get a QB this, this, this go-round, I'm not going to have a chance to get a good one. But it's all about value. I want good value out of any pick I get. Any pick I take. Rashad Penny. The running back situation is looking trash. And I don't have a good... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I know what I'm going to do, I think. Yeah, I think I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 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 I wish the auto thing would just... Go automatically instead of having to count down through the whole minute. Because, like, who wants to sit through that? Like, that to me, that to me is garbage. I don't like it. 540 here in Arizona. Where is all the people that are from the, uh, like, hey, Kevin, where are you from, dog? We got to read off. Okay, I, I will do that. That's a great idea, bro. I will read off everybody's roster. That's a fantastic idea. Um... Alexander, where you from, bro? Where 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 are you from? Um, and then and Kevin, where are you from? And, and it's great to meet you guys. I mean, I've never done a league off of Reddit before. It's something new for me, and I'm really glad I was able to do it because we have a uh, we had a group of people that used to play fantasy, and it was like twelve of us, and then it dwindled to ten, and then we were able to get back to twelve. Are you from Chicago? Big shouts, bro. Are you actually in the city, or are you in the suburbs? I actually grew up in Bolingbrook, uh, which is the suburbs, and then I went to school in uh, Bloomington Normal at Illinois State, so I was out there for the majority of my life. I've been out in Arizona for 10 years, so shouts to Shy City. That's dope. Um, oh, where in the city? You on the south side, west side, north side? Where you at, bro? Um, and so, uh, SD, the commissioner, uh, Mr. Torres, are you out of San Diego? Is that why it's SD? Let, let me know where you from. It's nice to meet y'all, man. Glad to have y'all here. Like I said, I had never done this before, and like, Oh, that's what's up. Northwest side, that's what's up. Um, okay, where specifically are you? Are you like Evanston area? Are you like uh, Lake Ridge? Are you out in Cali? Okay, are you in San Diego specifically? You don't have to answer that if you don't want to, but I'm just curious. Um, and who's your, who are you guys' team? Obviously, Alexander, I'm thinking you probably got to be a Bears fan. Uh, Kevin, do you rock with the Chargers? Are you an Oakland fan? San Diego, that's dope. Been to San Diego a couple times, man, with my family. Love San Diego. It's a fantastic area. It's a great place to great place to be. I need to get back to focusing on my draft. I ain't been thinking about the next moves. You a Vikings fan? Oh wow, that's that's almost disrespectful. That's almost disrespectful. I, I got to tell you, it's not a. Uh, I'm uncomfortable for you. I'm gonna just say that. All right. 
So who should I take? Should I take? I don't trust Wentz or Prescott. I just don't. And Wentz has had a good season, but I, I don't I don't trust him. I don't really trust. Hmm. I got it. I got it. Cause I'm gonna end up with some crap. Uh, man, there's some good value out there though. Man, oh man, oh man. It's a lot of things to do right now. What round is this? Eighth round. A lot of things to do out here. I heard some good things about Christian Kirk, but I just don't. But Kyler Murray is such a young man. Uh, let me see. So I think. Hey, where is uh take Jacoby? <laughs> where is uh where is LaShawn Murray playing? Uh LaShawn McCoy playing this year? Somebody's gotta pick him up and give him a chance. Big Chargers fan. Oh no, I got auto picked. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. Oh, I wasn't up yet. Okay. I'm glad that didn't happen. <laughs> I thought I got auto picked. I was about to cry. Alright, so let's do this. And then so I got Latavius. I like Latavius Murray as a running back. KC, that's what's up. Uh, I like Latavius Murray's a lot as a running back, and I always have. And uh, I had him one year, and he just, I don't feel like he gets the shine he deserves. Damn, I'm going to uh, go with Old Faithful. So I just took Drew Brees and Latavius Murray. I like Latavius Murray. He's going to be running behind Kamara. Kamara, I feel like, could be injury prone. That's what's up. That's a real fan right there. That's a real fan. You know, my boy C. Rowe, who's also in the league, who's also in the room right now, he's a big Colts fan. And um, even though Peyton Manning left, retired, he was still a Colts fan. Andrew Luck is hurt, and I think he's still going to be a Colts fan. So I respect that. I, I, I'm a Bears fan, like, quietly until they're good. I'm going to be honest. I'm not the greatest fan because if they're trash, you ain't going to hear me talk about them. But uh, I, I, I always love the Bears, man, uh, even through, like, the uh, – the the when we had quarterbacks in the thirties and we had like uh shit. We have we've had all sorts of quarterbacks. Obviously the Jay Cutler debacle, but then there was like twelve before him and none of the names are I can only think of one name was like somebody named uh, Chandler or what was it? Uh I don't know. We've had a lot of crap quarterbacks, but I've I've still always low key supported. So so right now my squad is um I've got Drew Brees at the QB. I got James Conner, Mark Ingram, Juju Smith Schuster, Brandon Cooks, OJ Howard, Allen Robinson, and on the bench I have Latavius Murray. So um, I like my squad right now. I'm gonna actually go through some of the other squads um, while I'm waiting to get back into mine. <clears throat> so let's look at Team Bolt Up. I think this may have been an auto draft. I'm not sure. Uh, forgive me if you actually doing your own draft. I don't mean to be disrespectful. He had the first pick, and he took Ezekiel Elliott. He's got, uh, what's his dude name? Josh Jacobs from the Raiders, Keenan Allen, Cooper Cup. I don't know about Cooper Cup, man. I think people are higher at Cooper Cup than they should be. Um, he's got Ndoku. He's got DJ Moore. Hey, you too, bro. Hey, thanks for setting this all up, dog. It's been great to have you. Enjoy your food. We'll be communicating into the future, and appreciate you setting this up, man. Have a great night, and good luck this season. I plan on beating you every time I play you. <laughs> um, so that's team bolt up. Let's see who else just came off the board. Marvin Jones is off the board. I think Marvin Jones is horrifically underrated. If he played anywhere else, I think he would be. Uh, I think he'd be better. I like Christian Kirk. I'm a little sad to see him come off the board. Let's see. Uh, I had to turn my fan on. Man, it's hot in here. All right, let's get into another team here. Let's look at Team Evans. Team Evans has Saquon Barkley, Fournette, Leonard Fournette, uh, Mike Evans, T.Y. Hilton, uh, Sony Michelle, Sammy Watkins, King Andre. That's not a bad squad right there. So the commissioner is up with his pick. Let's see who just came off the board. Matt Braders came off the board. Tariq Cohen came off the board. Jared Goff came off the board. The two cups, two girlies, one cup. That's a dope team name. Look at Team Tino. Oh, Team Tino took Mahomes and broke my heart. Team Tino's team don't look bad. Mahomes, Kamara, Freeman, Williams, Galladay, Tevin Coleman, and Jarvis Landry, who will probably have a pretty decent season. That's not a bad squad at all. Let's see who else. Um, let's look at the commissioner's team. Commissioner's squad is Matt Ryan, Christian McCaffrey, uh, Carrion Johnson, Adam Thielen, 
Chris Godwin, Hunter Henry, Singletary, and Samuel for the receivers. He's got a pretty good squad as well. It's a pretty good drafting in our league so far. Let's look at Atlas, the Mad Cat. Uh, what is it? Delvin Cook, Chris Carson, good backs. DeAndre Hopkins, Tyler Lockett, decent receivers. Uh, I don't know about Hopkins. He's been good consistently, but he's so short. I just don't trust it. I don't know why. That's just my own personal thing, but it's like, you just, and, and it's not like he hasn't proven himself time and time again. I think it's just me being weird, but um, I'm going to just be weird about it. I, I just think it's strange. Um, Evan Ingram. Uh, who's M. Sanders? I should probably know that, but I don't. Oh, Miles, oh, Miles Sanders. He's a running back for uh, somebody. Calvin Ridley. I don't know about Calvin Ridley. Either. I'm not sure about him yet. He hasn't really proven much. But he's probably a good bench receiver. Nothing wrong with that. Matt Breda. Um, let's look at LBC Blackhawks. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, Phillip Lindsay, Duke Johnson. I don't think Duke Johnson's ever shown me anything. I would never draft Duke Johnson. I just don't feel him. Uh, Michael Thomas is a beast. He's got some good players on the back end. Julian Edelman, Travis Kelsey, uh, Taj Boyd. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Cohen on the bench. He's got a little bit of squad going. I'm on the clock in 12 picks. I feel like I'll be waiting all day to pick, man. It's kind of kind of bogus. Um, two girlies, one cup. Pretty good squad. Which team is the worst team so far? Um, the last one, the Blackhawks. I think that was the Blackhawks. The Blackhawks is the worst team, you think? So we got, um, for two girlies, one cup, we got Jared Goff, Nick Chubb. What's his name? Damian Williams, I think. Damian Williams, uh, Devontae Adams, Robert Woods, Marlon Mack. Yeah, I don't like Duke Johnson, man. We'll see. I mean, I think he can have a chance to reinvent himself because he probably had a bad line. And uh, where was he at? Uh, Cincinnati, I think, or Cleveland. He's in one of them garbage teams up there. Um, Austin Eckler, Diddy Westbrook. People are saying Diddy Westbrook is going to have a. Uh, that's what signed his name. Duke Johnson got is going to be relegated to passing. Huh. Okay. Um, Dede Westbrook is supposed to have a pretty good season. I've I've, I've heard the whisperings of that. Um, so let's see. Get into the next team. So so uh, the homie Alexander is saying that he thinks the LBC Blackhawks are are not going to to do well. So we got Carson Wentz. Uh, who is this? David Johnson. David Johnson's a weird pick. I don't know that I would pick David Johnson. He might have a breakout season. I think that first season was an anomaly. I don't I don't think that's going to be repeatable. Uh, Aaron Jones, who I think could have a good season. Uh, Antonio Brown, Stephon Diggs, Jared Cook, uh, Geis. I don't know who Geis is. Darius Geis. He's got to be a running back from somewhere. Um, this team actually looks pretty decent. Uh, Sterling Shepard on the bench, who he hasn't done much, but he's also in. Um, he plays for the Giants, I believe. Or he might have gotten traded, but I don't know if he's. I think he still plays there. Um, they got a pretty good squad. I mean, I don't know about Wentz, and I don't know about uh, David Johnson, but he's got some good receivers out there. Let's see who's come off the board recently. Uh, James Washington, I don't know who that is. See, I hate, I hate when we get into this part of the draft because I never do rookie from last year towards ACL. Interesting. Okay. Um, I hate I hate the back half of the draft because, like, I, I don't be tuned in enough to know, like, the sleepers and, and stuff like that. I only, like – so we're going to come back to going through it. I'm going to get back to my team and start to figure out who I want to pick – as my pick is approaching here soon. Let's see. So we're in the ninth round right now. I might mess around and grab a defense just to get a good defense. Because I don't I don't be knowing <laughs> I don't be knowing all these players, man. I just I, I need to step my game up, I suppose. You know, and the thing is Jordan Howard's still out there. Maybe, maybe I'll just take a flyer on him and see what happens. I mean he, he I think he's gonna be the starter. That, that, that might not be bad to have on the bench. Um and I feel like there's nothing to lose in that. Um Actually, I think, yeah, yeah, I don't know. And then I need kind of another kind of tight end as well. I like to have two tight ends, man, because the tight end situation can be touch and go. Um, hmm, hmm. Obviously, I need a backup QB. I don't know if I need to do that right now. Drew Brees is pretty dependable. Man, picks is flying off the charts. So, Cortland, Sutton, Peyton Barber. Why'd you take my Why'd you take my thought by grabbing a defense, you bastard? Nah, that's a good look. Makes a lot of sense. Um, hmm. What D would I grab? Hmm. <laughs> I know nothing about defenses. The Jaguars have tended to have a pretty good defense, but they get scored on a lot still, though, so it kind of is weird. 
Uh, no, you didn't. You heard what I said, and you did it. That's what I'm going with. I'm going to do that. So I took the Rams defense. Uh, let me see. Um, how many backs do I have, though? How many backs do you want? Uh, but if he has a good season, hmm. Who's left in the in the uh, in the wide receiver joints? Have a strategy for multiple mocks. You be getting out there in the mocks. Ooh, I forgot Larry Fitzgerald is still playing. Huh? What do my receivers look like right now? I don't think it would hurt. Yeah, we doing that. What's up, Fitz? Because the way I see it is. Fitz could actually have it. Fitz is still in physical condition. He's older, but you know he's gonna get the ball. I think that actually was was kind of a nice situation for me. I'm 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 excited about that. Now knowing that he'll probably get hurt first game of the season, but um you know we hope for the best. So um I have no picks coming up for a minute. So I think I'll probably, I probably I gotta get a kicker at some point. That'll probably be the next pick. All the good kickers will probably be gone because it's like I don't come back up for like another 47 picks. It seems like and maybe I should have grabbed a kicker now. I hope to get Justin Tucker. Justin Tucker, in my opinion, is one of the best kickers in the league. And now that I've said that on the stream, somebody will probably draft him, you bastards. But it's fine. Um, so let's get back into going through who's out there. Uh, so we were on SD, SD Stony Montana. Uh, I think I already went through them. Yeah, I like their squad. Wentz, uh, David Johnson, uh, what's his name, Aaron Jones. Uh, Antonio Brown, Diggs, Cook, Geis. Um, man, I think I heard some things about Geis, too. He took Peyton Barber. Um, so that's interesting. Let's see. Uh, let's go to Team Green. I think this is an auto-draft team. It looks like it. Um, Cam Newton, James White, uh, Le'Veon Bell, Odell Beckham, Mari Cooper, Ertz, Alshon Jeffrey. Actually, for an auto-draft, it's not half bad if that was an auto-draft. Marvin Jones Jr., uh, what's his name, Crowder, someone, Jameson Crowder, um, Darwin Thompson. Uh, this team isn't bad if it's an auto-drafted team. I mean, Ertz can put up numbers. Jeffrey's man. Cooper could have a season. Odell, I'm not sure about Odell, to be honest with you. They got a whole new offense and a whole new quarterback. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, I'm not sure about either. Uh, Cam Newton usually does numbers. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. My pick doesn't come up again for 19 picks, so... And I can't get this blue off my screen. All right, let's get into the next team. America's most blunted. Somebody enjoys their marijuana. Um, this team looks decent, too. I don't know about the Josh Gordon pick. The A.J. Green pick could be questioned. There's a lot of questions on this team. Baker Mayfield's a question. Todd Gurley should be good. Uh, Joe Mixon should be good. Um, let's see. We just got Darwin Thompson off the board. Uh, you know, so, so, I uh, see, Roy, you took Jordan Howard, huh? I don't think that's a bad, I don't think that's a bad bet. I think that may pan out for you. So, uh, Baker Mayfield, Todd Gurley, Joe Mixon, uh, Josh Gordon, AJ Green, Greg Kittle, Derrick Henry. I wonder if Derrick Henry will do anything. He hasn't had the career he's been supposed to have. Cameron Kirk, uh, I don't know, Sutton's name, Cortland Sutton, and, uh, Naheem Hines. So this team doesn't look terrible. This team's got a lot of questions. They can either be fantastic or they can be garbage. It's going to depend a lot on um, Gordon, uh, A.J. Green, and Baker Mayfield. Uh, yeah, exactly. A.J. Green, I had A.J. Green one season. He was unbelievable. But I just don't know, you know, I just don't know how long that's going to be a thing. Um, you know, so we'll have to see how that turns out. Um, let's look at killer season, my guy C. Rowe, who's actually in the chat as we speak. Um, Deshaun Watson, I think that's going to be a big play for him. I think he's going to put up 30, 40 a game. Um, I don't know how to do this. David Montgomery, oh, that's the back from Chicago. David Montgomery, Melvin Gordon, Tyreek Hill, Julio Jones. Man, this squad might be nasty. Julio Jones, McDonald, Sanders, Bears defense, Will Fuller, who has proven himself to be a good receiver. He just hasn't had the consistency. Um, Jordan Howard. Hey, I got to tell you, bro, you got a squad, man. I mean, I don't know how the running back for Chicago is going to be. You seem to know more than I do. So, obviously, you know, I'm not going to question your uh, your decision making. Julio Jones doesn't get an end zone much, and I had huge problems with that. If he changes that this year, your team could be pretty hard to beat, to be honest with you. Um, McDonald could have a big season. You know, uh, yeah, that's that's the squad. And then last but not least, we'll get back into my squad, as you guys may have already uh, heard. 
my squad is complete with the Chicago Bear Grylls. Um, I have Drew Brees, James Conner, Mark Ingram, Juju Smith-Schuster, Brandon Cooks, O.J. Howard, Allen Robinson, got the Rams D, Tavius Murray, and Larry Fitzgerald on the bench. Going to go ahead and grab me a kicker here shortly. Um, because believe it or not, man, I've had kickers win games for me on, on more occasions than one. Um, then I'll probably get a backup QB, depending on who's still out there. I like to have a backup because things, things happen. And it's good to have one on the roster just ready to go. I've seen some people go without two of them. I don't like that strategy, man. I don't like that strategy. Because then you playing on the, the waiver wire and you waiver wire and you're hoping for luck. And I, I don't believe in luck. You, you got you to plan. Proper planning prevents poor performance. The five Ps. Don't forget it. All right, so draft is going to be ending soon. It's been a lot of fun to do this live. Appreciate you all for popping in. Um, actually, it's not going to be in that soon. We got 16 more rounds or six more rounds, rather. Um, I have I have 13 picks that I come back up. And the bad part is I think everybody's like doing research as they draft, which in my opinion is kind of garbage. But uh, so who wins the Super Bowl this year? Everybody who's still in the chat rocking with us, who wins the Super Bowl this year? I'm going to go with the Bears, not just because I'm a homer, but because like I really feel like they got a good opportunity. The defense is still stacked. They did The, the draft seemed to be pretty good. Uh, I think Trubisky is going to progress as a quarterback this year. Russell Wilson, Wilson's off the board. That makes sense. Um, let's see. I think the Rams will take a step back. I'm thinking about who's in like the final four, the final uh, eight. I think the Rams will take a step back. Um, I think the Chiefs have a great opportunity in front of them for sure. You know, is Mahomes was we got to make sure Mahomes wasn't a flash in the pan. I mean, some of the things he did were. Pretty crazy, you know what I mean? And to think he would do that two years in a row, I'm not saying he can't. I mean, I would have drafted him if I had the chance. But um, on the same token, there's still a lot of youth there. And I think with like when you talk about winning the Super Bowl, you got to have a, lot, a veteran presence. They don't really have that veteran presence. They got Kelsey, who doesn't really strike me as a leader. So I think you need some locker room guys. Uh, Tyreek Hill is young. Um, so we'll see about that. Um I don't see the Patriots doing what they did again. I think losing Gronk, Gronk was still big for them, even though he didn't have the breakout season. He was always that that uh, big play guy for them. Um, Chris Hogan may be okay. Um, obviously, uh, the running back situation is probably going to be okay. Vikings D just came off the board. Delaney Walker just came off the board. I feel like Delaney Walker is never as good as he should be. I was actually thinking about Lamar Jackson as a backup. He's off the board. Kickers are coming off the board. So a lot, lot, of, lot of teams are coming off the board right now. A lot of, lot of uh, good players. Who's going to take a flyer on Kyler Murray? Because I think Kyler Murray is actually going to be good. I just don't think it'll be this year. I think they got to they gotta learn to gel. I don't think it's going to happen that quickly. I do think they got that veteran presence in the locker room with Fitz, and uh, they got Suggs on the other side, which is great. I think you got guys like that in the locker room. Really showing some leadership is important, but, eh. So, uh, Geronimo Allison, he, he he had some catches late last season, too, I remember. He, I don't think he's bad. Um, So, I'm probably going to go QB and kicker on this uh, this run right here. Uh, I'm going to look, though. You got to always review your options and make sure you make good decisions. I like Deion Lewis, man. I liked him when he was, uh, yeah, no, I agree with that about a Geronimo. I like Deion Lewis when he was with the, uh, when he was with the Patriots. I thought he was, like, good, but obviously, they had James White, so I think they figured they had the, the, the same player twice. Like, it wasn't really worth it. Um, I've heard Ty Montgomery may get, may, may end up getting some touches. I read something about that today. But I think I'm all set on the running backs. And how many running backs I got? I think I got four, don't I? Now I got three. That, that could be an option. I mean, I just don't know what the Jets are going to do. I think they're going to be trash. I don't like Sam Darnold. I, I never understood why people were so high on him. There was, like, this big thing about him. But to me, it was always like, man, dude looks. I seen some of his college games. It looked like he just didn't know what he was doing. And that and that bothered me tremendously. Um, So, yeah, I don't, I don't know about, about uh. Le'Veon Bell or Ty Montgomery, but Ty Montgomery is a big back. He seems like he could really give you uh, the business if you decide to step up. And uh, Le'Veon Bell, without a really good O-line, he's elusive, but I feel like he could get hurt because they're probably going to use him a lot. 
And when you get that high usage, you catching passes out of the backfield, you're getting handoffs up the middle eventually, that's going to get old. And um, I think Pittsburgh did a good job of protecting him, but I don't think that's going to be the same case, um, you know, this year with uh, the Jets because the Jets are kind of a dumpster fire. See what else has come off the board and see what happens has happened that I said I've been talking. Deshaun Jackson's off the board. Um, Roethlisberger's off the board. That's unfortunate. I had plans for, for Roethlisberger. Bastards. That's okay, though. How about Tom Brady is my backup? I don't hate that at all. That that, that might be the look. Unless, uh, unless the homie C. Rowe grabs him. All right. So I need a kicker. Uh, let's look at the receiving core. Yeah. Let's look at a uh, running back situation. And let's look at the tight end situation. I still kind of need another tight end. Trey Burton can be kind of nice. Hmm. All right, let's do that then. Let's go. Uh, I need a kicker too. Uh, who's some, oh, Tucker Sloth. I like Justin Tucker. Let's see. This is 12. And who's I thinking about? Burton. Let's do this. Because I like Justin Tucker a lot. And then let's do... Um, let's do... Brady is the backup. So I'm going to be able to switch out quarterbacks. I got two of the best quarterbacks of all time. So I'm happy about that. Either way, I know them dudes are getting numbers. So that's not something I got to trip off of. And, uh, I mean, Phillip Rivers is out there too. Phillip Rivers gets numbers too. I mean, I probably could have waited on a, on a backup. That was probably a little too soon, to be honest with you. But, um... Their car is out there, too. Um, you know who might be interesting is Joe Flacco out in Denver. I feel like Joe Flacco might make some noise out there. I really, really, really do. Um, Manuel Sanders is still out there. Uh, what's Demarius Thomas, I think, is still out there. Oh, he might be in Houston. I might be getting that wrong. Um I don't know. I just feel like he might make some noise. He's got still got a big arm. He can still throw it. I know if uh, the homeboy Big Laylaw is still in here, he probably has something to say about that whole situation. Um, but uh, we'll see. So let's see who else come off the board. Mitch Trubisky's off the board, the homie. Adam Humphreys is off the board. Cole Beasley. Oh, little Cole Beasley. I forgot about Cole Beasley. That dude is a small human being. Mark Andrews, the guy I should have grabbed. I'm surprised nobody got Trey Burton. If he's still out there when it comes back around, I'm getting Trey Burton. He'll probably be off the board. I think he's going to be good. And Trubisky's going to need a, he needs a safety net. He needs a, a blanket down there. Uh, there's actually some really, really good tight ends left. That'll be the move if uh, if I get the opportunity. Sorry, I got to stand up. My butt cheeks is hurting, man. These chairs I have are comfortable, but they're just not that comfortable. I have to get up and stretch out a little bit. Jimmy Graham, too. What about Jimmy Graham? Why wasn't he good? Is he going to be good again? I don't know. Kyle Rudolph and stuff. There's some great tight ends still on the board. Man, oh, man. I might have I might have taken my tight end pick too early. There is some fantastic tight ends still out there. What you saying? What about? What you mean, What? Explain yourself, sir. And don't question me. I've won some games too, all right? Just no ships yet, but I'm going to win a ship. I still think Kyle Rudolph is good. You can't have a bad year. Every year of your life is better than the one before. No, I don't think so. People are allowed to have bad seasons. And you're right. He was absolutely trash last year, but that doesn't mean he's a bad player. It just means he had a bad season. I mean... Rappers don't make perfect albums every year. I mean, nobody's perfect, man. Relax. I might draft him just to spite you. I like my squad, though. I like my squad a lot. This, I think, honestly, unless something crazy happens, this is one of the better squads I've had. Uh, Trey Burton's off the board, you best starter. Um, yeah, this is one of the better squads I've had for sure. Feel confident. Need to get another good tight end just in case OJ Howard doesn't work out. Got a good kicker. I really want a Justin Tucker. That sounds weird, but I, I, that dude like makes me happy because he he can give you like twelve points just on like a, a decent night. Just really makes some things happen. 
I'm looking though. I don't have a ton of receivers, so I'm gonna need to grab a receiver. So, <laughs> Jason Witten need to stay in the booth where he was at. <laughs> Jason Witten running like a, a eight two forty at this point. Marquise Brown. I need to look into some receivers. I just realized I only have two receivers. <laughs> That's not good. Oh no, I have three receivers. I'll take that back. I can still use another one though. Yeah, you know it's true. It's like Tony Romo coming back. Like, bro, you you you've been away. Just stay where you at. Hmm. 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 Golden Tate. Golden Tate has had some good seasons. So has Muhammad Sanu. My my pick is coming up again. Golden Tate and Muhammad Sanu have both have a have a. You had uh C Row. You had Muhammad Sanu one season. And he snapped off. I remember because I played you and I was like, wow. And Golden Tate makes some crazy catches. I just don't know about no Daniel. What's his name? Another defense. So the uh, clip, uh, Chargers defense is off the board. Josh Allen's off the board. Yeah. I think I want to get one more receiver. Um, how am I doing? I think I got four backs. I think I'm cool at running back. Yeah, you dropped him after he had those good games because you knew because it was kind of a flash in the pan, but. Nonetheless, it happened. Uh, I only had three backs. Hmm. I think I'm going to take another receiver. I'm just not sure who. I'm kind of thinking about Marquise Brown, but I think he's like third on the depth chart. And, uh, I'm going to look that up real quick. Because I, I do think Baltimore may, may air the ball out a lot. And I like that. I like that, man. I like teams that pass the ball. Keys Johnson depth chart. He's probably like um, third or fourth. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm up. All right. Well, I didn't have enough time to figure that out. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I was I was thinking about taking Golden Tate too. That's why. Devin Funches. I feel like he could be good, but he ain't gonna have nobody throwing to him. And the backside of these, uh, Kenny Stills. I like Kenny Stills. He seems to make catches randomly. I feel like Nelson Aguilar should be better than he is too, but I'm not feeling none of these guys. None of these guys. Um, damn. Let's see. What was my tight end situation looking like? Eric Ebron. I wonder I wonder if Greg Olson's gonna come back and have a good season. He's been really good in the past. So is Tyler Eifert, but I definitely don't trust no damn uh what's his name? Uh Andy Dalton. It's a hard pass. Let's do it, why not? Greg Olson. And for my next pick Shies. I do need another receiver. I feel like Mohammed Sanu has upside. Not in love with the decision. Who thought there's a defense? Maybe I, I do need one more receiver though. And the Browns D might not be that bad either. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and take Muhammad Sanu. I I don't love the decision. I'm mean, actually I'm gonna scroll and see if there's Paul Richardson used to play in uh Devontae Parker. Why isn't Devontae Parker good? Wasn't he okay at some point? Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb's in Dallas now? That's interesting. Hey, remember Lane? I got Cobb. I kind of feel like I should take a flyer on him. Him or Sanu, I feel like I'm going to take a flyer on Randall Cobb and see what happens. I probably should have took Marquise Lee. I regret that a little bit. But I don't mind it, though. I mean, let's see. They got uh, Ari Cooper out there. Who else do they have in Dallas as their receivers? Because if Randall Cobb gets an opportunity, he might be okay. He had, he had a good stretch of games. Um... Dallas receiving core. Or is it C-O-R-P? I spelled it wrong. Uh, let's see here. All right, man. I think I'm going to wrap the stream up, man. We've been been at it for about an hour. And uh, draft's coming to an end. So I think we're going to wrap things up here. Um Oh, so he's third on the depth chart. That's not bad. So Randall Cobb is going to be 
he might get some balls. That actually wasn't a bad pick. I feel better about it now. I was a little irritated. I'm like, eh. But uh, I definitely feel feel better about it. Um. All right. I think that's gonna be it. We are. I am. One half of the ESMR Revengers. Thanks for being here, checking out the thread. Thanks for helping with the draft. Um, not probably not gonna fit. Well, I guess I only got two more rounds, but I do, I kind of feel like things are slowing down, and I don't really care about these back half picks. So my squad is Drew Brees, James Connor, Mark Ingram, Juju Smith Schuster, Brandon Cooks, O.J. Howard, Allen Robinson, Rams D, Justin Tucker for my kicker, Latavius Murray's backup, good old Fitz. T. Brady's a backup QB, although he may be starting, depending on how the season goes. Greg Olson, Randall Cobb, and uh, a couple more picks. I'm probably going to add another defense. I like to have options with my defenses. And um, another tight end. So thanks for being here. Thanks for likes, the comments, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all. This is ESMR Avenger Livestream. Peace and love.